Hello and welcome back to Strength from Tarot. I'm Jackie and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my soul deck and that is the Game of Thrones Tarot. So let's get into this walkthrough. It comes in this incredible box. I like to keep all my tarot decks in boxes as long as they're good, well designed. So this is great. This even looks like a book on my bookshelf, my bookshelf, which is cool. This is from HBO. So you open up the box and you have a section for the cards and this amazing little white book, but it's hardcover. So let's get this out of the box. It's got great pull ribbon, so it's easy to get the cards out. As you can see, I've edged this deck in black and I use it quite often, so you can tell. <laughs> These are the backs, the Iron Throne, get this box out of the way. So yeah, this is such a great deck and of course it helps if you are a fan of the show, but the guidebook is really good so even if you're not a super fan you can still follow along and it does follow rws so if you're familiar with that system of tarot then you're good to go so the guidebook is great like i said this was by liz dean and the artwork is by craig cross so it tells you a little bit about both in the back and what another thing I love about this deck is that it comes with a ton of spreads. There's one, two, three, four, five, six spreads. And they're pretty unique, so. Of course, there's the introduction, how to use the book and deck. But of course, that's, you know, whatever practice you normally do, you go with that. And then it has a three card spread, has the red keep spread, old gods of the north spread, faith of the seven, I drink and I know things, I love that one from Tyrion Lannister, and spread of the maesters. So really great spreads. Then we go into the Major Arcana. You get about a page and a half for each card. So you get, you know, key meanings, um, upright meaning, and then reversed meaning. Um, then when you get into the Minor Arcana, tells you a little bit about each of the different groups. You have the swords, spears, coins, and cups. And for that, you get a half a page about for each card. My only complaint would be that I wish that, you see this tiny, tiny, tiny little description about the picture and image used. I wish that they went a little more in depth on that. But besides that, it's great. So let's get into the walkthrough. We have the Fool. The Magician. Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot. 
strength. The Hermit. You can see too, um, I forgot to mention the linen cardstock. It's amazing. You can kind of see it. This is my all time favorite deck to shuffle as far as tarot decks. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. I love all of the character choices for the cards. Temperance. I know a lot of people had some issue with repeating characters, but I happen to like the which characters were chosen. It works. The tower. The star. The moon. The sun. Judgment. And the world. And now to move into the minor arcana, we have the swords. Ace of swords. Two of swords. Three of Swords. So you can see it's uh, definitely a clone of the Rider Waite Smith. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. Knight of Swords. Queen of Swords. Moving on to the cups, ace of cups, two of cups, three of cups, four of cups, five of cups, six of cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. King of Cups. Now the Spears. This is the Fire Suit. Ace of Spears. Two of Spears. Three of Spears. Four of Spears. Five of Spears. Six of Spears. Seven of Spears, Eight of Spears. I love the tones in this one. And the crow flying. Nine of Spears, 
ton of spears. Page of spears. Knight of spears. Queen of spears. Gotta love Khaleesi. King of spears. And now for coins, which are also um, pentacles, the earth suit. Ace of coins, two of coins, three of coins, four of coins, five of coins, six of coins, seven of coins, eight of coins, nine of coins, ten of coins, page of coins, Queen of Coins, and finally, King of Coins. So now I'll go ahead and give a good shuffle and we'll see what card pops out, what message you need to hear for the day, and I'll read from the guidebook just so you get a taste. Love shuffling this deck. I could spend hours. So please feel free to leave a comment down below if you have this deck or if you're considering getting this deck or reasons why you don't resonate with this deck. And also, what is your soul deck if you have one? Whoop, the magician, that was a quick one. Oh, so that's awesome. Great message for the day. We have all the skills that we need to manifest whatever magic we want to bring into our life. So let's see what the guidebook says for the magician. Number one in the Major Arcana. So it says key meanings, success, willpower, messages, manifesting, inspiration, and diplomacy. Spy master Peter Littlefinger Baelish is the magician, manipulating others to his will. He wears rings on both little fingers, signifying Mercury, planet of communication. On the red screen behind him are the lemuscate or infinity symbol, plus the four suit symbols. The sword is represented by Katzwa, a dagger of Valerian steel. As number one, the magician stands for the individual and the ego, the eye. Littlefinger incites war and commits murder to create chaos, his ladder to power. He feigns powerlessness to get people to trust him. But as Lord Varys says, Littlefinger is one of the most dangerous men in Westeros, an arch manipulator driven to succeed while others suffer the impact of his lies. He reflects both the upright and reverse meanings of the tarot magician. So upright meaning, Action, ideas, and energy abound. It's time for inventiveness, expansive thinking, and new directions. So the card often comes up to show new work, relationships, business, startups, and other successful creative ventures. At the spiritual level, you connect with your higher self or true purpose. Oops, sorry, I'm getting him out of frame. Um, where was I? If you're waiting for news, this card tells you that you will soon have the information you need. Additional meaning, significant journeys, moving home. 
And then there's a reversed meaning. Let's see. Delays and communication problems come with the reversed card, so projects go on hold, or you may be avoiding a choice. There may be manipulation and deception too, so you could be talked out of a course of action that would otherwise benefit you. So I wanna thank you for joining me on this video on my soul deck, the Game of Thrones Tarot. And I invite you to um, leave a comment down below like and subscribe and yeah let me know your soul decks and what it is about them that makes them your soul deck for me this just every time i use them i get the most direct messages there's no and they're very fast too like i get the messages really quick so it's a very talkative and responsive deck and i just really feel for the artwork and the colors so it's definitely a deck i reach for the most and again with the shuffling it's incredible so yeah my soul deck for now and forever so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care bye, -bye.